Spotify. And today's session is how to create a peach sunset shade for your clients. Now, welcome Lucy. First of all, massive introduction. <laughs> how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's really, really excited to be here collabing with you guys. Great. So this session, as I said, is supported by Sudan Luxury. And today you're going to talk us through a colour tutorial, aren't you? Yes. So what's exciting is that with everything that's been going on recently, I've been super inspired to make some really gorgeous summer inspired looks. So this is actually a part of my Toxic Peach collection. Um, so I've specially made this look oh, called thank Crimson you. Yeah, really Nice to be here clapping with you guys. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Today you're going to talk us through a couple. Cool. Okay, cool. Are you okay? You can carry on now, Lucy. Let's go. Um, so yes, this is actually inspired by my Toxic Peach uh, collection, uh, which is summer inspired. So I made this look especially for hairdressers journal today. Um, okay. It's a little bit more technical, a little bit more, a um, few more colours, a bit more vibrancy, um, just to kind of channel all the stylists out there that are wanting to um, use something that is safe for the hair, that is kind of stress-free, um, but you can achieve so much striking results with. So I'm excited to be able to show that today uh, in real time. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my video off and then we're okay. going to pin you so you're huge on the screen and everyone can see in detail what you're doing. So okay. let me uh, stop my video. And then we should be able to pin your video to the screen. Cool, okay. So when you're ready, Lucy. Okay, cool. Um, so welcome everyone and thank you for joining us. Um, as Akisha said before, I am Lucy, the UK brand manager for Slab Luxury. Um, and I am today channeling through my Toxic Peach Sunset collection. Uh, and this one is called Crimson Sunrise, uh, which was a beautiful, beautiful and really easy um, look to create. Um, and one thing that I think that's been happening recently, and I love seeing it across the board, is that hairdressers everywhere are feeling inspired, they're growing in creativity. Um, and I feel like all these lives and educational videos that we've been doing has just been inspiring so many people. Um, and that's why I wanted to come on here and actually give you guys a full-on tutorial of how I created my Crimson Sunrise, um, which was totally summer inspired using Celeb Luxury products. And um, so before I get started, just a quick overview of who we are as a brand. We are Celeb Luxury and we are a semi-permanent colour deposit and shampoo and conditioner line. So we have 20 shades of gem lights, which will be your traditional tones, your reds, coppers, browns, sandy blondes, and silvery blondes. And then we have 20 shades of our viral tones. And this whole look that I have created is all viral tones. So that will be all your uh, vivid pastels, such as uh, lilacs, rose golds, corals, uh, reds, um, yellows, and the variety of the rainbow. Uh, we are proud to be clean beauty, so we're fully vegan, cruelty free, ammonia free and PPD free, um, FDA uh, and, safe, and EU safety compliant. Um, so that's just a small, very small uh, quantity of who we are as a brand. Um, and all of our shades also come through as colour wash or colour additioner. So I've actually created this look using both um, because I feel like as a hairdresser and stylist myself, um, I've used both as a direct dye uh, so I can get the placement and the technique. Um, but another amazing tip is that you can send your clients home with the color washes or color additioners to maintain their color at home. So such, such as this look, you know, you will be using the lighter tones to make to send your client home with. And um, so they could be using either the hot pink mixed with yellow um, and keep washing their hair. So by the time that they come back to you, all you have to do is either put the red back in or do their roots. And it's a simple, really easy, straightforward way of doing it. So for today's look, I am using a balayage board, uh, no gloves, um, and I am not using any foliage. Uh, so you'll be able to see exactly how I created it in really, really quick and easy steps. So this is the full look, full look and I'm just gonna put it Sorry, I'm just going to literally put it here so you guys can kind of 
keep coming back to it and seeing it as I'm applying the product onto the hair. And this is my client for today. Already sectioned out in really simple sections. And if you guys have any sort of questions during this, uh, Keisha will shout out and I'll be able to answer. Um, is this, can you guys, can, Akisha, can you actually see the doll head quite clearly for application? Okay, so my first, uh, for my rootage, I actually used. Sorry, Lucy, um, yeah, you can see, you can see everything clearly. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so for my rootage, uh, I used uh, purple, red, and a little bit of magenta. So they're three mixtures that I've put together. I think a really nice tip as well to do before you apply, and this is where like my inner art like comes through because creating looks such as this, I always wanna put the um, brush to paper first and always kind of gauge what the tone is gonna be because what you get inside the bottle is what is gonna go onto the hair. So that's kind of when like the real paint and the real art can come through is that you can, um, kind of manipulate your shades and personalize them so the color doesn't control you, you control it. And um, so I'm just gonna mix and show you guys exactly in real time how the color looks when I'm applying it into the bowl. Um, so for the roots, I've used the color additioners. So this is the red. And then the purple. And then I just put a little hint of magenta in as well um, to give it that kind of pink undertone because um, that's like kind of what makes that crimson colour. So as you can see, all the mixtures are mixed together and then as I mix, you'll start to see the colours merging. And again, as I said before, what you see is what you get. So that's what makes that really deep kind of pink undertonal crimson colour. And then for my next mixture, because I have three mixtures that I'll be making today to create this look, my next one will just be magenta solely on its own because of how vibrant um, and really, really um, vivid and like pink that it is. And so I think that it mixes well with the orange and yellow tones that I've decided to go with. So as you can see, that is super vibrant there. And then for my next mixture, I'll be going with yellow, which is one of my favorites. And this is in the color wash. So again, you can send your client home with this product um, to maintain with. So, you know, their hair's not fading when they actually come back to the salon, they still have really fresh, fresh colored hair. And this is gonna come out, as you can see, like it's got some really gorgeous orange tones coming through uh, with the magenta. And that's what this mixture is. It's that really vibrant orange uh, deep tone. Okay, so another thing is that that was just a couple of minutes of really quick and easy mixing to do. What you see is what you get in the bottle. Um, so when you're actually looking at your mixtures and you're happy with them, that's when you know to apply to the hair. So the first few mixtures that I made was in the Colour Dishner, which have the bomb fix inside. So the bomb fix that is inside all of the shades of the Colour Dishners um, have a gorgeous reconstructing bond repair inside. So when you're actually applying it to the hair, it gets three times stronger um, with its first use. So even if you were to send your client home with a colour conditioner, they would also be getting a treatment with every single use that they do. Um, so that's a really amazing tip to have as well, especially for them clients with pre-bleached hair. Um, when it's pre-lightened and it feels really sensitised, it can um, counteract them type of results. 
So that's really, really important when you're uh, sending your client home with this type of product or applying it to the hair and just deciding on your mixes. So my first type of technique that I'll go through is that I just apply this to the root first and I'm not really uh, watching kind of on the blend or any bleeding because the color doesn't bleed at all as I'm putting it on as a direct um, color. So as I apply it to my root, you can see it in real time, just going on there, super easy. Lucy? Yes? Hi, Adele Glibbery on Facebook has asked, what level hair colour can this go on? So it's a, it's a mixture really because it all depends on one porosity and obviously what Adele said, which is what kind of colour you are first. So for this type of look, you would need to be pre-lightened, whether that's a yellow base um, with the warmer tones that are already going through or the lightest, palest blonde. Um, but there's so many options as well for um, anyone who's wanting dual tones. So kind of medium brown, medium blonde, um, anything like magenta, reds, any of the coppers and the gem lights, um, the purples and blues um, all take to um, dual tone on medium hair. So I hope that's answered Stel's question. So there's an option for everyone. So what I'll do now, now that I've applied to my roots, I'll split the hair in half. One side will be um, my magenta and the other side will be my hot pink and yellow mix. So I'll go in with my balayage board and really simply just paint on. I'm not exactly watching where I'm placing the color because the red would have already deposited onto the root. So you'll get that blend either way. And then I'll flip my board and go on to my next section with my next mix and apply. And then take really, really, really fine sections to saturate the hair. But an amazing thing to do is that when you're applying your color dishes or color washes, it saturates, it saturates the hair really, really easily. So you haven't got a problem when it comes to trying to um, cover the hair, it covers really, really easily. Mary has asked, what training heads do you use? Um, these ones are called Hair Art. Um, and they do have an they do have an Instagram, it's at Hair Art Products. Um, so maybe if you search on there, they can um, you can see the heads. And uh, this one's a little bit shorter. Uh, this, and this one's like the 14 inch. So it, it depends what you really want to go for. Um, so when I go on to my next session, I'll alternate the colors then. So we've got so much dynamic variety going through the hair. So then I'll go to my orange mix instead on this next section and then back to my magenta mix um, on the other. So as I said before as well, the colour doesn't bleed. So when you're applying um, all the colours and you don't have to worry about lifting any hair up there, using foliage, using cellophane, you don't need to split the hair up in any way, shape or form. As it lies down on each other, the colour conditioner or colour wash has already deposited onto the hair. So you don't have to worry about um, if it's going to print or bleed. Um, and that's for when you're also at the back wash as well. And trying to rinse this colour off, you know, like in usual times, you would, you know, get someone to either hold um, a piece of hair here, a piece of hair there, and try and rinse so you wouldn't get any sort of bleeding. But with this, you would just need to simply wash the hair um, and not have to worry about any sort of printing, bleeding, um, and hair being where it shouldn't be. So again, I'll just alternate my mix. So I'll go for my magenta this time round and then go back to my orange. Beverly has asked a few questions. She said, firstly, what measurement of color did you use to get this look? Um, I think you obviously showed us at the beginning, but maybe she might have uh, tuned out or tuned in next. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So I actually, with the, with the beauty of it being um, already in the bottle and already going on the hair as it is, 
um, I eyeball the whole thing. So sometimes I actually tend to, as I said before, I kind of mix my tones and this is where the real art and the creative side of me comes out because when you're mixing and trying to create a tone and manipulate it to the way you want to personalize it to, I will print it onto paper as a mixture first and I will keep manipulating the color, adding in colors to get my mixture the way that I want it. So as I print it onto the paper, if it's too light or too pink or too red, I'll then add in whatever I feel is necessary to make the color that I've got in my head. And um, so that's actually just a really good tip to use because when it comes to measuring, you don't have to necessarily worry about that with Celeb because what you see is what you get in the mix. So when you've got that idea already in your mind, um, it's really easy to just eyeball it and see it happening in, in, in front of you. So I hope that I hope that helps and put the uh, put the paintbrush to paper. Perfect. And also Beverly has asked, um, if the hair is porous, will this go on evenly? Yes, yes. So colour wash and colour dishnet will both go on to porous hair evenly and cover the hair. Uh, what I would recommend is that if you have that drier hair that's kind of sensitised by bleach or any sort of lightening and um, pre-lightener, then you go for your colour dishnet because it's got this amazing treatment inside called Bomb Fix. So the Bomb Fix, and I'll, I'll touch on it a little bit more because I do feel like it's one of those really like one of those products that you just don't you don't come across I feel like it's so rare to have so it's a protein and keratin free treatment inside all of the colour additioners um, so that means that your client or you can use it as much as you like it is perfect for sensitised hair dry hair and um, anyone with them kinds of bleach tones because of how amazing it counteracts the results of bleach um, and it also makes your hair three times stronger within its first use. So not only are you getting this amazing colour and, you know, the colour that you have always wanted, you also get healthier, stronger and more structured hair within that first use. Um, so it does completely apply so um, seamlessly, evenly, and it also is giving the hair an amazing treatment as well at the same time. Perfect. And can um, Colleen has asked, can we get these products in Australia? So we, at the moment, we are working on some sort of international shipping, but I think in Australia you can purchase from Amazon. Um, but we have an amazing customer service team at Celeb Luxury. Whether you want to go through their Facebook handle, which is just Celeb Luxury, or at Celeb Luxury on Instagram, we have got an amazing team of customer service guys that will be more than happy to help you and answer any of your queries about trying to get the product to you. Um, Lucy, would you be able to go over the sectioning at the back as well? Yes, of course. So what I've done here is I've literally kind of just done my four quadrants. Um, so I've taken two uh, sections at the back and I'm just taking really fine sections to saturate the hair as I get to the top. And then I'll move to my, four, my, my fourth quadrant and I'll do exactly the same as I go through. So with this look, as you can see, I don't know if you can see through the light, but I have got full blown magenta just going through that kind of money piece area here. And um, so I've sectioned off as a triangle at the front that will just be all four magenta. Um, and I'll literally take that through because the crimson uh, color at the root um, goes so lovely with the magenta you you can't exactly see like the difference between the both because between the two because they already go so gorgeously together and um, so that's why I've sectioned it in that triangle section here thanks Lucy I know Babs and also for you guys in the UK that are watching right now as well um all these products are available through Sally Beauty. So if you want to go through their website, they are www.sallybeauty.co.uk. And then for you guys with a professional account with Sally Beauty, it is Salon Services, uh, www.salonservices-salonservices.com. Oh, um, and they also have their Instagram handles, which is at Sally Beauty or at Salon Services. Um, and then for you guys as well, wanting to make a salon account to actually stock it and retail it in your salons for you and your clients to use, 
you can also set up an account with Salon Success, which is an amazing distributor that we've got that actually have a, a, their own team of educators as well for Celeb. Um, so you can go to their website at www.salonsuccess.com and they also have their Salon Success Instagram, which is just at Salon Success. And they will handle any sort of Salon inquiries that you've got as well. Perfect. Uh, Olivia said, I love this look. And um, Lauren on Facebook has said, what colours do you have in your hair? It's beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. So to the first one, this look honestly was just so inspired by one, my toxic peach, my first toxic peach look, uh, which I wanted to really kind of make super vibrant to um, channel everyone's kind of crazed inner um, colour vibrancy goal at the moment because of lockdown. Um, and then that just kind of came out of me and came from there really. Like I just wanted to make something super summer inspired and everyone has been getting so creative and it's growing and create and creativity at the moment. And I wanted to channel that and hit that. Um, and then for the other question as well, which was, sorry, can you just repeat the question? Yeah, it said, what color do you have in your hair? Oh, okay. So I, at the moment, have hot pink at the roots and then a coral colour conditioner uh, through the ends. Um, and I have had a goal recently of changing my hair every single week for every single live, even if it's just a little change, because I feel like it's such a good example uh, for everyone to see that I'm changing my hair so often, yet the condition is always so... Um, it's always just so healthy. And that's because of the bomb fix inside all the color dishes um, and the maintaining color washes that I've been using as well. Um, so that's just a really good tip. And also if you've got, if anyone's been following our lives, I've had different hair for every single one and I will keep, I will keep doing it. I will keep doing it. <laughs> so I'm going back, flipping my boards and going to my orange tone, which was the hot pink and the yellow mixed together. Flipping and then going back to my magenta. I feel like using a balayage board is kind of usually not this simple because obviously the flipping and the amount of color that I'm using um, not wearing gloves, it always kind of gets so messy in the end or it gets kind of complicated, it takes longer than it should. Um, and the, ama like, the amazing thing is, is that when you're using these tones, you don't have to worry about one, the blend, because as you're mixing the colors together with your brushes, it's kind of doing all the work for you. And then also the fact that it doesn't bleed. So when you're flipping your board and you're going through all these different colors, you can be confident in controlling the color and using, you know, not having to wipe your board or use any kinds of foil. You can just apply the color and it still blends so seamlessly. And the fact that you can actually apply this like a direct color in the salon as well as as well as let your, let your client go home with something that they know and promised that you know they're gonna have beautiful hair no matter what um, and a good tip to know as well is that when you're sending your client home no matter what kind of tone it is and um, a handy thing to send them home with whether it be in color wash or color conditioner is that it should be on the lightest um, scale that you've took their hair to so if they are lighter on the ends you'll be sending them home with that color wash or color conditioner um, to maintain the ends and then the roots will um, fade amazingly and you'll have this overall gorgeous look and it will change each time and they'll be always have fresh hair so I think that's just a really really another amazing thing about this product is that your client will never feel like their hair is faded. Even when they come back to you, they'll never feel that way. So as you can see, the looks kind of starting to come together. You can start to patch and see exactly what I've done and how it's shown up. So 
And I just, I still love that. It surprises me every time. And then I can just wash this all off together and not have to hold a piece here, or hold a piece there, don't need to use cold water. Um, it's not complicated. And this is why Celeb Luxury has really like thought consciously about the stylist and let them control the color in it, not control you. Lucy Adele has asked, what's the best way to remove the color to change to achieve a completely different look? Oh, that's a good question. So I actually think that that's, a, that's such a good thing to do. And I do it so often. I change my hair all the time. So what you'd simply do is that you'd get a cleansing shampoo. You'd put down and stop using the shade that you're currently using. Um, and the cleansing shampoo will just quicken up the pace of the color to fade. And there is always, always a beautiful fade out process when it comes to celeb. Um, and then you'll be able to change, change up your look whether that's even layering colour or applying a whole different look. For me, I do genuinely love to layer the colour. I'm quite an impatient person. So when I'm like going through that fade out process, as much as I loved it, as much, I love letting the coral fade because it always gives this like really dusty, like muted look. Um, but as much as I love letting my colour fade, I am very impatient. So I just tend to layer my colour a lot of the time. So even last week when I had just all over, um, I had all over coral and then I put the hot pink on top of my roots to give it that vibrancy. I've got like that undertone of orange going through from the coral still. And that's what I love is that you can just layer the tones to create something that's completely new. So as you can see, I've split my hair into two every single time. I've not went to three. I've, I've kept it consistent across the board. I've just been flipping it to two back and forth uh, with my balayage board and applying the color going from magenta to orange and then orange to magenta. Juliet, Juliet has asked, can you use just one col color if a client asks? So like yeah. a, one of the color, color additioners? Yes, of course. So if there's a colour that a client is already, depending on what colour they're actually after, they can be sent home with either the colour wash or colour additioner to maintain. The colour wash is amazing because it's just one quick wash. So whether that be their normal daily or their every other time uh, shampoo, um, it's kind of just really stress-free and easy for the client to do at home, um, whether that be in the colour additioner or the colour wash, depending also on their... Um, porosity as well if the um if the hair is quite porous from either sensitized from bleach or anything like that then i would recommend going and sending your client home with the color additioners because it has the bomb fix treatment inside as well And even when you're at the back wash as well, washing this type of colour off, and when your clients are at home washing their hair with this um, shampoo or uh, conditioning with the colour additioner, the um, actual colour doesn't stain your hands. So you don't have to wear gloves like you would a toner or a colour. You will just need to simply wash the hair and your hair will, uh, your hands will not be stained. I think that covers a point that Karen's asked on Facebook about um, staining and how it began to stain, the brighter tones in her last colour began to stain the regrowth as well. Yes. Um, this has happened with, with Celeb Luxury. So the, thing, the amazing thing is about Celeb Luxury is that you already have to have coloured hair for it to actually deposit onto um, the colour that you've already got. So when it comes to kind of your natural roots or gray roots, um, the color doesn't deposit. So you won't get any kind of discolored staining through the root area as it comes through. Um, so I think that's a really good tip. And yeah, I know it doesn't stain at all. Um, it doesn't stain your hands, it doesn't stain your face. Um, 
So that's just one less um, thing to worry about really for your client. And what I love as well, and it's just because I always love to kind of let the kind of let loose and have free reign of the hair when it comes to um, applying and color placement with Celeb Luxury um, is that I don't have to watch about blending the color with my hands um, or blending the color in any shape, way or form, because as my as I'm swiping down on my balayage board, it's doing that for me. Uh, Lucy, Sophia's asked, um, what's the best way to colour red which is overgrown during lockdown? Right, okay. So the I, there's a few options that you can use with Celeb Luxury. So we have our gem lights, which are, are our traditional tones. So you can use ruby red in the gem lights to maintain the colour of your red hair, keep it super vibrant um, and you know, kind of keep it that color really fresh and even whilst you're on lockdown. But then we also have our vibrant viral red, which is for like pillar box red tones. Um, and that comes in the color wash and the color dishnet if you wanted that bomb thick street mint inside as well. And um, so that's just a really good tip to have at the back, you know, you'll be able to use that whilst you're home at the moment. Um, and how long does this take to develop? Okay, so the good thing is, is that, you know, once you're done with this colour, you can leave it on for five to ten minutes and it will be ready to go. The colour is already deposited onto the hair. For the likes of Bomb Fix, if you were to put the treatment on, you can leave it on for three to five minutes for kind of like that flash, like that flash colour, flash toner. Um, or you can leave it on for 20 minutes for that extra nourishment because at the end of the day, it is a treatment as well as a colour deposit and conditioner. Um, so you can let that develop to your own, you know, you can kind of eyeball it completely. Um, and we've got just like lots and lots more questions here. So okay. um, <laughs> next question we have is, would you send them home with the bottle or would you make them up a colour pop, your client? Okay, so the amazing thing is, I mean, you have the option to do both. So you have the option to either send them home with a lighter shade through the bottom to maintain with, whether that be in color wash or color additioner, depending on your client's porosity, um, or you can make up your own mix and send them home with that. Whether that be in, you know, the, for example, I mixed hot pink with yellow to make that really uh, vibrant orange tone going through the hair you can send your client home with that mix and they can just simply wash their hair with it. Um, another, another thing that your clients can do as well is come back for a couple of flash toners as well that you can full on mix it in the salon um, and they can just come back for it every couple of weeks. Um, and Adele has asked, is skin testing necessary with this product? So we are actually proud to be clean beauty. So it is dependent on obviously allergies. If their client does have any underlying allergies, I would still recommend obviously a skin test for that reason. But for any other reason, we are clean beauty. So there wouldn't be any need to kind of skin test like you would with a semi-permanent color or um, permanent color. Um, we are, and just so you know as well, we are vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate and paraben-free, ammonia-free, PPD-free, um, we are FDA and EU safety compliant. Um, so I think that that's really, we're really conscious about it. I think that Celeb Luxury has done a great job in making sure that we are clean beauty and completely safe for all our clients, customers and hairdressers out there. Amazing. And Dora and Heather has a couple of questions about colouring. As you said, it works on um, coloured hair. So does it not, does this product work on grey hair or natural white hair? So for um, natural and grey hair, the hair would ne already need to be um, chemically treated with colour to apply this product for it to fully um, deposit. So unfortunately for the likes of grey, we don't recommend that you obviously use this just over or just grey natural hair. 
um, as the results will differ and vary in different ways depending on the porosity um, and the like kind of um, resistance of that grey hair. Um, so it really, it would need to already be coloured. Um, and Sarah Jane has asked, could you use bleach lightener on top of this um, to go back to lighter slices or would it intensify and deposit the tone deeper? So when you say in slices, do we mean kind of bleach in between the colour wash or colour additioner or pre-lightening before you apply the colour wash or colour additioner? I'll let Sarah Jane reply and then I'll let you know what she says. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Just because I want to be able to gauge the, you know, perfect, the perfect answer for Cora. But for a colour like this, uh, for anyone who's kind of wondering, um, the hair would either be, need to be, and this is a fun, funny analogy, but, you know, for a colour like this, your hair would ideally need to be the outside of a banana peel, which, you know, obviously would be kind of that yellow, uh, that palest yellow tone, um, because any of these warm tones really pick up on the yellow. So you will get that super vibrancy and luminosity in the hair. And then even if your hair is on that like kind of platinum spectrum, that will still look obviously amazing and deposit just as fully as it would on yellow hair. And then you will get dual tones for anything a little bit darker. So for the likes for like your reds, purples, magentas, um, absolutely perfect for um, kind of medium brown to medium blonde tones as well. I'll just turn her head a little bit so you can keep keep with me. And for also anyone who has like virgin hair as well, clients with virgin hair always come back and want a treatment, whether that's with a blow dry um, or a gloss, um, any sort of cutting, you can use the clear bomb fix uh, conditioner on any sort of natural hair. So it's an amazing treatment just solely for that as well. Um, and you can use it on naturally curly hair to define curls. It's beautiful on curly hair. It really, really connects them bonds, gives a gorgeous shine and defines them curls. Um, and with the clear bomb fix as well, you can pastelize any of your tones in colour additioner with the bomb fix. Um, so whether that, so say for example, if the magenta is a little bit too intense for you and you want to go for something a little bit more pastel, then you would pop a little bit of your bomb fix and eyeball and gauge how much to put in, depending on obviously how pastelized your client wants the color. Um, but you can just pastelize quite, um, you can pastelize super safely and um, just keep adding in whatever tones that you feel is necessary to the mix. Um, and then you're still getting that amazing treatment as well. Uh, for the likes of colour wash, you can mix in the gem like citrine to pastelize any of the colour wash shades. Um, I do find that, you know, if your client wants kind of like baby blue hair or wants like pastelized copper hair, pastelized red tones um, or pastelized silvery tones, then you can just add a little bit of your citrine into the mix and it will just give that um, extra bit of pastelization. Um, Francesca's asked on Facebook, how long would this take you to do and how many washes does the colour last? Okay, great question. So for a look like this, it all depends on the client's porosity. Um, so if you were not to go home and obviously maintain your colour with this, it all depends on how the hair feels and how, it's, how it was already was before you applied the colour. So it really, it's always about gauging your client's um, hair state. Um, so that could be anything from like um, five washes to two weeks, depending just on the porosity. Um, but one thing to know is that the colour will never be a horrible fade out process. It will always fade out beautifully and it will always be even. Um, and that's why we recommend to obviously send your client home and maintaining it with either the colour wash or colour additioner. Um, what was the other question? Sorry, Akisha. It was how long would it take you to do? Oh, okay. So for this full look, for this, obviously, we're answering questions, showing that it's talking about the product. Um, but for the overall look that I created, you if 
with you just flipping your balayage boards, going to and from the colour, um, stress free, it'd probably take you only about 25 minutes to apply. And then you would only have to really leave it on for 10 minutes to develop. And then you would just simply wash without having to worry about bleeding or printing or anything like that. So it's a really easy process. And if you guys haven't seen my Toxic Peach Sunset, which is my first initial look for this collection, um, that actually only took me about 10 to 15 minutes to create overall, um, only using three shades as well. Um, so that was actually a super quick and easy uh, tip and trick to um, create and strike and colour and results. But this one I wanted to make a little bit more technical because there's so much kind of creativity getting, dust, getting uh, tossed around at the moment. And I wanted to make sure that we had that I had something really technical in my back pocket to be able to showcase using these products. Um, and it's still super simple. I mean, usually for a color placement like this, I'd be trying to place foil or something under each section so the color wouldn't print. And I just feel like it's really, really time efficient that you can just flip your board and go to the next color. Um, and Lucy, how light was the base color um, for your lip? Okay, so for this look, you can either be that kind of pastel, pastel yellow tone outside of a banana peel or lightest blonde. And um, for anything a little bit darker, you know, like kind of base eight, I do recommend that it would be more on the warmer side and you would get a few more du dual tones. And um, magenta and the reds and the crimson color would take beautifully to uh, darker blondes as well. Um, but the more orangey kind of tone, uh, would need to be on kind of like a lighter base um, to get that full like vibrancy, uh, but the colour would still deposit. Cool, and um, Kelly on Facebook missed the beginning. So just to reiterate, didn't uh, mix with a developer? No, no. So this full range, we are a semi-permanent colour deposit and shampoo and conditioner line. Um, so we are completely um, safe to use without developer. Um, we are shampoo and conditioner that fully deposits onto the hair. And we have 20 shades of uh, our traditional shades, which will be our gem lights, um, and 20 shades of viral tones, which will be all of our vivid tones, which will be for all of these kinds of looks, purples, blues, pur um, reds, anything like that, the variety of the rainbow, I like to say. Uh, and they are all intermixable as well. You can mix anything that you your heart desires to create the tone that you and your client want want to achieve um so no no developer needed and super easy mixing um steps as well so as you can see the whole look is really starting to come together now you can see all your uh, your magenta tones, your orange tones, your crimson red at the top, and you can see it all just overlapping and layering to, to um, so you can actually see how the look will come out already on the hair. Um, so we'll get a few more questions in as we start to wrap up now. So Adele yeah. asked on Facebook, what sort of price point would you charge in the salon for this look? So we always like to recommend that, you know, you have so many different options as a stylist to offer it to your clients, whether that be in a flash toner in the salon or sending your home with it and retailing it as well. Um, and that's kind of to your own um, point and always dependent on kind of what you buy it for as well. Um, so if you were going to kind of do a color placement such as this, um, you know, what you would charge for a full head of colour, balayage, um, I would recommend still going for that because the colour placement and technique is still, you know, what you would do with any other colour. And then for a flash toner, I think that obviously if your client's not going to kind of retail it from your salon or buy it and take it home, um, when you have your client coming back for that flash toner or different colour placement or overlap and layering, um, it will be anything like a treatment because the color additioner is essentially a bomb fix repair and treatment. So anything that you would already charge for your in salon mask per se or flash toner, I would match it to that. 
And also for any of you wanting to um, be able to buy the um, products for you to retail in your salon or stock as your uh, new colours uh, for kind of that, for the vibrant tones or for the gem lights, um, I would recommend that you go through Salon Success, which is www.salonsuccess.com, which is an amazing distributor with their own education team as well that can fully educate you on um, celeb luxury. And then we also have Salon Services, which is um, www.salon-services.com. Um, and you can also buy the shades from there online. Uh, for you guys with that haven't got a professional account, you can also go to Sally Beauty, uh, www.sallybeauty.co.uk. Um, and for also any other kinds of questions or burning, then kind of burning questions that you guys might have, you can reach me at lucy.chavaro and that's my Instagram handle. Um, so you can also see some of the work that I've been working on for all my um, Toxic Peach collections. Um, and you can also grab some really good inspiration and user gen generated content from our Celeb Luxury handle, which is at Celeb Luxury on Instagram. And the images that we have, as I said, are all really user generated. So um, you'll be able to see mixtures, formulas, tutorials, what people have been doing and all the lives that I've been doing with um, the uh, Canada brand manager as well uh, in the recent weeks, which have been super fun. Perfect. Thank you, Lucy. And we'll have um, the final look on our Instagram page. And anyone that missed the beginning of this, you'll be able to see it on our Facebook page, Instagram page, YouTube channel, and on our website. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'm going to turn my camera back on now to, to wrap this up. Okay. I'll get the finished look over here as well so everyone can yeah. start, kind of take that last glance of what we've been working on today as well. So here is the finished look with the magenta through the top and all of our mixtures coming through the bottom as well. So beautiful. Oh, thank you. I could stare at it all day. <laughs> Lucy, thank you so much for joining us today. And yeah, if, like Lucy said, if you have any questions, definitely follow Lucy, follow Celeb Luxury. We've got all the information that you need um, on this video, but if you have any further questions, you, they can get in touch with you there too. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. So my uh, Instagram handle is lucy.chavaro and then our Celeb Luxury is at Celeb Luxury on Instagram. Um, and thank you so much, Akisha and Hairdressers Journal, for having us on here. It's been really amazing and I hope everyone enjoyed watching as well. It's been such a great opportunity. It's been great, Lucy. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, thank you. And you guys, take care, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.